Okay, this is going to be a, a little demonstration on how to set up for doing rotary work or rotational work with PHCAD. I have a test set up and all I did is write some text and you will notice that the text is exactly 50 millimeters wide by 10 millimeters high. Okay, the next step is to go ahead and turn on the rotary adapter in, uh, in the software in PHCAD. And the way you do that is through the system settings. Now, before you can actually set it uh, correctly, you're going to need to know one piece of information. And that is you're going to need to know the pulse width or the pulse unit for the y-axis. It's the y-axis that we're using to connect to the rotary adapter and so you need to know what the pulse width of that um, is in your in your system currently. And the way you find that is to go ahead and look at your manufacturer parameters. You can see that my y-axis has a pulse unit of 25.416048. Now, yours may not be exactly the same as that. In fact, it's very likely that yours is about half of that. In other words, 12.6, 12.7, somewhere in that neighborhood. The reason for the big difference between mine and yours is that uh, you are very likely using 1.8 degree or 200 step per rotation motors and I happen to be using 400 step per rotation motors and that's a 0.9 degree so um, my pulse units tend to be longer mine is 25.416048 on the y-axis so with that written down let's go ahead and go over to the rotation adapt rotational adapter portion of the software and that comes under the advanced functions. Now, you have to enable it, which I already had mine enabled. And we want to set this, regardless of what it is right, whatever it is, the way you have it now. Let's go ahead and set it just exactly the way um, uh, we have it for the y-axis. So we want it at 25.416048 and 1,000 steps per rotation pulse. The terminology they're using here is a little odd. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how they came up with it, but just go ahead and leave it at the 1,000. And uh, on the current diameter, that's the diameter in millimeters of the workpiece that you're going to use. Now, the only reason you need to set anything there uh, is so that if you were to do a reset, it knows how much to turn in. In other words, it knows what one full, it can figure out what one full rotation of your workpiece is. I go ahead and set it most of the time. It really doesn't matter. Um, but in, in my case, I am doing it with just a, a scrap piece of dowel here that I have that's 19 millimeters. So that's what I have set. So this is the setting and make sure that we have it enabled. And in fact, if it wasn't enabled, you wouldn't have been able to type these things in. So. Let's go ahead and say OK. The next step then is to go ahead and download our current project to the laser. So you want to hit your download and simply download the document. It's important to remember that any changes you make to uh, the settings for the rotational adapter are not going to take effect until you've actually done the download. So be sure to download it each time you've made any changes. As you can see, I already have my uh, rotary adapter installed and all set up, ready to go. So um, there's a separate video on that if anybody's interested in learning how to, how to get it installed and set up. But we're going to focus just on uh, the mechanics of making it work today. So. Let's go ahead and all I really have to do is on the uh, control panel for the DSP is simply tell it to start. It's a little bit hard to see because it's not burning very dark into this particular wood uh, and I'm going fairly fast but uh, I think you can see that it is 
actually making the marks and everything is working just fine. And we'll take a little closer look at it here when uh, it's all done. Go ahead and turn it just a little bit more so it's a little bit easier to see. As you can see, it is completely done. The length on it is right at 50 millimeters and a little bit difficult to measure in here, but from top to bottom, if we were to wrote if we were to actually lay this around the circumference of this, it would be right at 10 millimeters. So Rotational adapter working with the DSP and its rotary um, advanced features works just fine. It's just a matter of getting it all set up exactly the way you're supposed to.